The last of NASA's three high-energy astronomy observatories, Heyau 3 was launched 20 September 1979 on an Atlas Centaur launch vehicle, into a nearly circular, 43.6-degree inclination low Earth orbit with an initial perigeum of 486.4 km. The normal operating mode was a continuous celestial scan, spinning approximately once every 20 minutes about the spacecraft's z-axis, which was nominally pointed at the Sun. Total mass of the observatory at launch was 2,660.0 kg Heyau-3 included three scientific instruments, the first a cryogenic high-resolution germanium gamma-ray spectrometer, and two devoted to cosmic ray observations. The scientific objectives of the mission's three experiments were 1. To study intensity, spectrum, and time behavior of X-ray and gamma-ray sources between 0.06 and 10 MeV, measure isotropy of the diffuse X-ray and gamma-ray background, and perform an exploratory search for X and gamma-ray line emissions. 2. To determine the isotopic composition of the most abundant components of the cosmic ray flux with atomic mass between 7 and 56, and the flux of each element with atomic number Z between Z. Topic four and Z fifty three to search for super heavy nuclei up to Z equals one hundred and twenty and measure the composition of the nuclei with Z greater than twenty equals Topic The Gamma Ray Line Spectrometer Experiment equals the Heyau C1 instrument as it was known before launch was a sky survey experiment operating in the hard x-ray and low energy gamma ray bands the gamma ray spectrometer was especially designed to search for the 511 keV gamma ray line produced by the annihilation of positrons in stars galaxies and the interstellar medium ism nuclear gamma ray line emission expected from the interactions of cosmic rays in the ism the radioactive products of cosmic nucleosynthesis and nuclear reactions due to low energy cosmic rays in addition, careful study was made of the spectral and time variations of known hard X-ray sources. The experimental package contained four cooled, P-type high-purity GE gamma-ray detectors with a total volume of about 100 cm 3 3 Enclosed in a thick 6.6 .6 cm average cesium iodide CSI scintillation shield in active anti-coincidence to suppress extraneous background. The experiment was capable of measuring gamma-ray energies falling within the energy interval from 0.045 to 10 MeV. The GE detector system had an initial energy resolution better than 2.5 keV at 1.33 MeV and a line sensitivity from 1, E4 to 1, E5 photons per square cms, depending on the energy. Key experimental parameters were 1, a geometry factor of 11.1 square cm senior, 2, effective area approximately 75 cm, 2, display style caret 2 at 100 keV, 3, a field of view of approximately 30 day F W H M at 45 keV, and 4, a time resolution of less than 0.1 milliseconds for the germanium detectors and 10s for the CSI detectors. The gamma ray spectrometer operated until the 1st of June 1980, when its cryogen was exhausted. The energy resolution of the GE detectors was subject to degradation roughly proportional to energy and time due to radiation damage. The primary data are available at from the NASA HESARC and at JPL. They include instrument, orbit, and aspect data plus some spacecraft housekeeping information on 1600 BPI binary tapes. Some of this material has subsequently been archived on more modern media. The experiment was proposed, developed, and managed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory of the California Institute of Technology, under the direction of Dr. Alan S. Jacobson. Next 
topic the isotopic composition of primary cosmic rays experiment The Heyau C2 experiment measured the relative composition of the isotopes of the primary cosmic rays between beryllium and iron Z from 4 to 26 and the elemental abundances up to tin Z equals 50. Serenkov counters and hodoscopes together with the Earth's magnetic field formed a spectrometer. They determined charge and mass of cosmic rays to a precision of 10% for the most abundant elements over the momentum range from 2 to 25 GeV, c, c equals speed of light. Scientific direction was by principal investigators Prof. Bernard Peters and Dr. Liwa Koch Miramond. The primary database has been archived at the Center Etudes Nucleariers de Sackley and the Danish Space Research Institute. Information on the data products is given by Engelmann et al., 1985. The heavy nuclei experiment The purpose of the Heyau C3 experiment was to measure the charge spectrum of cosmic ray nuclei over the nuclear charge Z range from 17 to 120, in the energy interval 0.3 to 10 GeV, nucleon, to characterize cosmic ray sources, processes of nucleosynthesis, and propagation modes. The detector consisted of a double-ended instrument of upper and lower hodoscopes and three dual-gap ion chambers. The two ends were separated by a Serenkov radiator. The geometrical factor was 4 square cm senior. The ion chambers could resolve charge to 0.24 charge units at low energy and 0.39 charge units at high energy and high Z. The Serenkov counter could resolve 0.3 to 0.4 charge units. Bins et al. give more details. The experiment was proposed and managed by the Space Radiation Laboratory of the California Institute of Technology Caltech, under the direction of Principal Investigator Prof. Edward C. Stone, Jr. of Caltech, and Dr. Martin H. Israel, and Dr. Cecil J. Waddington. <laughs> Project The Heyau 3 project was the final mission in the High Energy Astronomy Observatory series, which was managed by the NASA Marshall Space Flight Center MSFC, where the project scientist was Dr. Thomas A. Parnell, and the project manager was Dr. John F. Stone, the prime contractor was TRW. See also Heyau Program High Energy Astronomy Observatory 1 Einstein Observatory Heyau 2